Hey everybody, welcome back to Live to Learn. This is Doug Montezella. Thanks for joining in. Hopefully you guys had a great Halloween. I was a cowboy for the 13th year in a row now because it's super cheap and it saves money. I don't need to pay for anything. So today I want to talk about taxes. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but it's important to understand. And specifically, I want to talk about the tax liabilities we have with our investments. So I guess we'll take a step back first and I want you all to understand that there is currently seven income tax brackets in the United States right now. And this is simply the matrix of understanding, okay, how much money you make and what percentage tax you will need to pay on that. So it's completely just based on your income. So with investments, the money you make there is taxed a little bit differently. You're subject to capital gains tax. And there's two types of this. You have short-term capital gains and long-term capital gains tax. And at a high level, you will pay less money in taxes with long-term capital gains. And the difference between those two is how long you've held the investment. So if you've bought and sold within one year's time, you're subject to short-term. So if you've held that investment for longer than a year's time, that means that you're subject to long-term capital gains. So there is quite a significant benefit. You're going to pay about 40 to 50% less taxes. So I'll give you an example to make this clear. Let's say you made $100,000 a year. So that means based on those tax brackets that you are in the 28% tax bracket range. Fixed, that's based off your income, you can't change that. So that person, let's say that person made $1,000 on their investments in the stock market. If they bought and sold that investment but made $1,000 within a year, that means they're gonna pay 28% on that $1,000. Okay, that same person, who has that income tax, has made $1,000 in the stock market, but held it for one year and one day. So they are gonna pay 15% tax on that money. So they're gonna walk away with $100 more, over $100 more money in their pocket from their hard earned money. So I'm not saying this is gonna be the hard rule, you gotta keep every investment for longer than a year, because there are certain factors other than um, taxes that are going to feed into those decisions. But it's another thing to be aware of and have that mentality and understanding when you're thinking about selling an investment. Hopefully this made sense for you guys. I know it's a little bit complicated of a subject, but I try to break it down as simply as possible. So leave a comment or uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot. Take care.